Hi, I'm Tina Barry, the curator of the Virginia Project. Um, the project started in 2015 when I first moved up here from Brooklyn. I moved to the hamlet uh, of High Falls and I was research researching my new village and I found the story about Marc Chagall um, that he had moved here from the city with his partner Virginia Haggard and Haggard's daughter Jean McNeil. I was very curious about their time here and as I was researching I realized that there was lots of information about Chagall and very little about Haggard, um, which bothered me. And as I started to research I realized that she was a very accomplished woman. Um, she spoke many languages, she was the daughter of a diplomat and an aspiring artist herself. So as a poet um, and a short story writer and a former artist, um, I launched this, this project. I started to write in Haggard's and McNeil's voices um, and the pieces grew. I, there are now 60 of them. But as I was writing, I imagined the characters, I imagined the scenes, and then I wondered how other artists um, would interpret those things. Uh, those pieces. So I went um, and I visited Savan Malikian at the Wired Gallery um, and told him my idea and he was on board, which I'm very grateful about. And um, then I reached out to artists. I reached out to 14 artists who interpreted the stories. Each one interpreted a different piece from the series and that's what's in the gallery now. So the first one um, I'll talk about, this is by Leslie, Leslie Bender, it's called Water. It's um, inspired by my piece called, also called Water. Um, it's about a day when uh, Virginia Haggard decides that she has had enough of the kids and she needs some time by herself. She goes to, oh, oh, water a swimming hall down here, uh, which is really just a block from where we are right now. And, um, and she takes a swim. So that's, that's what this My Piece Water and Leslie's Piece Water is. Um, this is a watercolor by Barbara Dannon. Um, it's called, what do you call this? Take Me There. Um, it's a beautiful, dreamy piece, and it's inspired by my piece called Clairvoyant, um, which is really one of the most poetic pieces in the show. Um, and it has a lot of imagery about oceans and travel. Um, it has mussels, it has shells. It's um, a very romantic piece, which I think she captured beautifully. Um, beneath that is Ingrid Kepler Lasowski's piece called uh, Close Open. It's wax cast doors that she does. It's a very quiet, very conceptual piece um, based on my piece called Cadmium Clove, um, which is actually a very emotional um, piece about John McNeil, who is Virginia's husband who is going through some sort of psychosis and is kind of losing himself. Um, so that is Ingrid's, Ingrid's take on, on my piece. These three oils are by Kate McLolan. Um, Kate, Kate was inspired by my story called Hideaway. Um, Hideaway is about the time when Virginia is just new to High Falls area and she is talking about how she, she imagined how difficult it would be to leave all the imagery and all the sense of, of the city but that she sort of has found this home here um, and she feels she says, she says, our home snug against the hill, a stitch of blue before clouds, 
So she's, it's poetic to her, it, it, it's inspiring. Um, this is a collage also by Barbara Dannon. Um, it's called Nocturne and it's inspired by another very poetic piece in the, in the show called Nocturne. Um, and it starts, your dreams settle over my sleep. So this is a woman sort of caught in that dream, like a dreamscape. Jenny Lee Fowler is a cut paper artist. She does a lot of work with advertising uh, for seed catalogs. She does these wonderful graphic things. Um, so she's created these three pieces around my story, Shadow Pictures, which is told in, the, in Jean, the child's voice. Um, and it's a scene, she's il illustrated this scene where the father is, is, is making these shadow puppets for the little girl while he was still okay, while he was still the father that she remembered. Um, so she has this imagery of the father and the daughters, and it's also very romantic with the leaves in front of it. Um, and then she has these very graphic, um, almost, almost like the kind of illustration you'd see in a book of how to do these shadow puppets, um, hand shadow rabbit and hand shadow dog, which, is, which comes from, from my story. Um, also a cut paper artist. Um, these are Jamie Gall's pieces. Jamie um, very elegantly and very simply illustrated my story, Picnic with Art Dealer's Girlfriend, which is sort of one of the more humorous pieces about Virginia and Mark, um, who has a friend come over and visit, who's um, a little bit of a pompous jerk and how this woman is infatuated with with him, um, so there's actually three three women that the man is, it talks about because he goes through them rather quickly. Edie Russell um, does these sort of colorful uh, conceptual pieces. So she illustrated my piece Raft, um, and she did these three people. He says, beautiful raft, shall I change the color of the water and make my body your raft? Um, it's, people have, this piece seems to draw a lot of attention, these pieces, and people seem to see them almost as poems in themselves, as the way that she's layered the color um, and the way she's caught sort of... I, I don't know. She, she's managed to, in, in very simple ways, catch some of the emotion of, of, the, of the story here, which is really Virginia saying, what can I do to make you happy? This is the wonderful illustrator Giselle Potter's um, piece called Circus. Um, it, Giselle is an illustrator, very well-known illustrator, and the story is written in the children's voice. It's about Jean going to see the Bar Barnum and Bailey's circus with her teacher when she was in boarding school, and Giselle's managed to pack the the story, to pack the piece with so much of what I had written about, and to also just catch the wonder of a circus, um, and she even captured the clowns that I put in who were smoking cigarettes there in the corner. This is Laurie Van Houten's um, piece called White Flannel, based on my writing, also called White Flannel. Um, this particular piece is probably the most emotional piece in, in the pieces in this show. Um, it's sexual, it's um, angry, um, and Laurie has 
really kind of boiled it down to these little emotional sort of metaphors of my story. There's a bed, there's this chair that seems very lonely on it with all the space around it. Um, and she has my two um, embroidered, um, where I write in, in the story, I color his lips vermilion, two thin lines stitched shut, which she has done right here. Quiet, lovely charcoal drawing is by Anik Sarah Taylor. Um, Anik illustrated my story um, called Smaller. And I think she's captured the, a quiet sort of resignation of, of the piece. It's a very, it has a dreamy quality, a very romantic quality. This sculptural piece is by Trish Class Giannakis. Um, it's called a Birth. It's it's um, inspired by my piece Birth, um, and it's you, as you can see, there's a lot of drama to it, which I think is what what that moment of birth is is really like. Um, I write um, Birth, bed of blood and bone, him, her, you. Us, the great usurper who knit himself from me. And I think you get that feeling. Also, these pieces, the gray pieces around the figure, are a wasp's nest that, that uh, Trish tore apart and glued. Pencil and Watercolor um, by Wendy Hollander, who is a botanical artist um, and teacher. This is called Day Lilies. Um, it's very layered, it's dense, but yet there's an airiness to it. That, like, like you can almost feel oxygen breathing between the, the flowers and the leaves. Um, and beautifully rendered. And it illustrates uh, my story called Day Lilies which is about Virginia and um, Mark talking about what they're gonna plant in the garden. And there's a wistfulness to this to this story because she's really saying, Virginia is really saying, you know, let's talk about this and do it soon because I'm not sure if we'll still be together. Okay, this, this magical piece is by Heesh Kim. Um, it's watercolor and casein on paper, and it's called So I Came from the Sea and Sat Down, which is also the title of my piece, which is also the title of one of Mark Chagall's pieces that I borrowed the title from. It captures all those ocean and sea and mermaids and, and sea creatures, um, and it's it's just, it just has such amusing motifs here too, like this 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 gorgeous eye here. And then if you look really closely, these are all little eyes. Uh, so in this, in this, and also the color is just masterful. It's just so stunning.
These five pieces are by Amy Toledo, who is a landscape artist. Um, they're inspired by my piece, High Falls, and Amy went around the area and she did these, these gorgeous little, little landscape, landscape pieces. This one, I especially love this one, um, Balder on High Falls, because it captures um, the description of light in my piece, High Falls. Um, where Virginia, Virginia is in the area to try to find a house. They're going to move from the city to High Falls. So she's with an, um, a real estate agent and they're going around. And she says, with the windows open, light poured in, a pure yellow Catskills light Mark would have loved. So she captured that yellow light, that creamy kind of buttery light that we find here in the summertime. And that's the whole show. Thank you so much for coming and uh, sharing this with me. And I thank all the artists who did such stunning work and for Savan who let this happen and, and hung the show so beautifully and lit it so beautifully and cheered me on and is holding the, the phone right now, the camera phone right now. So thank you. Thank you, Savan.